Greetings, Entities and Guardians. My name is Hyper Hines, and welcome back to Cooker Run Kingdom, where literally just in the previous episode, I was going to go ahead and, uh, just, like, just get to go through some few levels, but however, the store... Well, I am burping. Oh, great, that's fun. And the story was so intense in, like, the last one where, my gosh, it, like, went near, like, over 20 minutes or just about. I don't know. I think it went over 20 minutes, which is crazy, because usually I try and prior towards, like, like around 15-minute episodes. But, yeah, if you haven't checked out the last video, we de definitely please check it out, because, my gosh, there's some definitely, there's some heavy story stuff that's been going on in that. And I really want to see what the climax of what's going to happen next is, which, before I go on... Of course, I will go on, but let me just say, I'm going to read some comments from the Separating was Probably a Mistake Cooker Run Kingdom video. Probably finish up all the comments on that video and then move on to another one. Because, if you want to comment, or like, if you want to comment the video, then please do. If you have, like, a random question, a comment, something completely random, a fact, something about me, something, or something about the game that you want to leave, then please do. Like, legit. I really love interacting with each and every single one of you, and I just love reading all of your comments. So, let's go ahead and just start this thing. I left off immediately when World Stage 1-3 ended. Only Stage 1-3. Like, don't get me wrong, that's a lot of experience. But come on. Oh, we're definitely gonna be backlogged with story. Like, don't get me wrong, I appreciate the XP. But, man. Killer Cookie. Wait, should we call you Pure Vanilla Cookie now? I can't believe you've been hiding your identity all this time. I should try that later as well. Shush. My apologies. It was not my intent to conceal my identity. Though also I'm trying to figure out how you survived. Um, if you don't mind me asking, what exactly happened? You know what, wizard, you're on the ball. I'm literally on the same boat with you. I'm curious what the plug is going on. When Dark Enchantress Cookie was released from her confinement, I too awoke from a deep slumber. Excuse me? And the memories came flooding back. The memory of me, a failed king and hero who could not protect the cookies of his kingdom. Oh yeah, uh, I guess memories start filling your brain after uh, we defeated Dark Enchantress in World 8. Or quote unquote defeated. But after our fateful meeting, I remembered something else. With my friends, I could overcome any impossible difficulty. Well, we're your friends, hopefully. Which is why I refuse to give up. I will stand against Dark Enchantress Cookie, and I will not back down! <gasps> That's the spirit! Let's bring down Dark Enchantress Cookie and save the Vanilla Kingdom together! So, is he gonna get the new, like, current pure vanilla cookie clothes on, or are we just kinda still in this rag mess? And I'll inherit the throne, ruling the kingdom with a just hand. Or just a hand, I don't know. Make sure you watch what this future king is truly capable of! <laughs> Onward! I am now in- I'm just curious to see how far can you get in the game with only the main story cookies. So, Ginger Brave, Strawberry, Ginger- I was gonna say Ginger Brave. Ginger Brave, Strawberry, Wizard Cookie, Straw- I already said Strawberry, Chili Pepper Cookie, and Custard Cookie the Third. Wait. Hold up. Oh, it's be- Oh my gosh, it's because we didn't beat this level with three stars. I didn't even notice we- didn't finish this level two. We finished this level two stars, and we didn't beat with three. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna replay through this level real quick. I'm gonna go speed up, and uh, I know it seems like the same level, but I'm just gonna put this on 1.5 speed. And in the meantime, I'm also gonna read a comment. Well, isn't that the thing that got me killed last time? I don't know. But just in case, I'm not gonna try and die this time. I'm gonna make sure I have complete focus on this. But when it comes down to the fact that Eclair Cookie died. I'm, I'm, it makes me scared that, like, maybe I'm getting weaker through these stages, and that definitely scares me. Alright, I have a comment up here. I've, it's pulled up. I just gotta keep looking up, but making sure I take care of my cookies in the meantime while reading it. Uh, it comes from Jolly Co-op Night, and, say, and they say, uh, question time. Do you think there should be a sun, sunlight cookie, since you know, uh, since if you know your science, the moon reflects the sun's light in the nighttime, since the moon doesn't, uh, oh my gosh, we're, Eclair's already so close to dying. Uh, since the moon doesn't shine the brightest in the day, and it would be connected to Moonlight Cookie. I mean, that would be pretty interesting. Oh, please, no. Oh, we're so close. Yep, yeah, stop. Get out. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. Okay, we're close. We're close. Don't kill. Okay, good. We made it through. But they're saying, uh, would there be a sunlight cookie since there's a moonlight cookie? I do have an idea for a sunlight cookie, but it's just a dream which will remain a dream. Now, here's a fun fact. The sun is actually white. 
have luck on Earth bread. I knew that the sun was white, actually, because people would assume it's yellow, but no, that's just because of, like, the heat and how hot it is. But anyway, with that done, we finally got our third star in that level. I think it was the first level I actually made it through where I didn't get three stars. Mmm, this is gonna be tough. I definitely gotta read these comments, like, in between levels and, like, focus on the levels themselves. But, uh, alright, I will read a comment after I get through this level. Oh, I completely missed that because I was trying to change the game speed. What the fuck? I, I I know probably if you paused it, you could probably remember what Strawberry Cookie said, but I completely missed that. Uh, I think they're probably mentioning, uh, okay, they were the ones that kicked up all the food from the banquet earlier. So I'm guessing Strawberry Cookie said, uh, look at how much food there is around. Or like, the only cookies that we've seen that were actually around here real were the other five. Being Dark Enchantress, Licorice, Dark Choco, Pomegranate, and also, uh, Poison Mushroom. By the way, Dark Choco and Poison Mushroom didn't even say anything throughout that. Indeed. They are the finest chefs on Earth, bread. Truly top notch. Or they're talking about the actual, like, cake monsters that are in these levels that always have a bunch of chef hats on them. Everything was super yummy. Was there a secret recipe? Wait, did Custer eat throughout that whole entire confrontation? Ah, but of course. As esteemed chefs, they all have their own visions. Each dish contains a rather special portion of cake monsters. Wait, 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 wait. A special portion of cake monsters? Oh, I think I'm gonna be sick. Yeah, d puke it all out, buddy. We just ate cake <laughs> monsters. Oh, that's something I definitely do not want to have in my stomach. That sounds disgusting. My gosh, Eclair's getting the smoke snacked out of him. That doesn't even make sense, but I said it just because I thought it made sense to the situation. Okay, I definitely need to do some upgrading. Okay, actually, let me check on Eclair's level, to be honest, because they seem to be the one who's taking the most damage. And I'm not sure if there would be a good replacement for Eclair, to be honest. At least in my opinion. There might be one, but maybe I just don't know much about the game for that to happen. And I swear, the team, and, like, the change in team, that's definitely going to be dangerous, because I got to play with a different style. And I've been playing this one for the past couple worlds. Well, I mean, Dark Cacao Cookie is, like, the most new cookie I've been using, but I don't know. Anyway, let's get through here. Don't die. There's, like, one more wave of enemies just ahead of us. Oh, please. Dear Lord. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, one more. Yeah, it's just these plugs. Oh, no, there's a big plug in front of us. No, no, no. Oh, my gosh, we lost the Claire! Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, we're getting weaker. And we only got two stars on that as well. I have to do this level again. I literally have to do this level again. I think I need... I think legit... I think I need to do a level... Or like, uh, not level, but like a video where I just upgrade all the cookies. Because my... This is not doing... This is not good for me. And even if I were to swap out Eclair, I don't know who to swap him out for. Oh my gosh, this is... This is going to be something that cracks open my patience. And I won't even know how to, like, assemble a new team, because I suck with team management. Uh, 27 plebbing power. He, well, he is level 40. Alright, hold up. Can I level you up to, like, at least 50? Yeesh, that's li that literally takes all of my basic jellies. Oh my gosh. Plumbing price that you have to pay. Uh, I, I'm gonna see if I could mess with level 45, maybe, because it's a little bit less. But my gosh, this, that's just scary. In fact, you know what I can also do? I can promote cotton, so I can get some more, uh, a little bit more damage, or a little bit more, a little, little bit more strength. Let's do that real quick. Okay, cool. On something I started. Nice. Love that. Alright. Maybe we can crack through this level this time? It's the same level, right? Oh, nice. You promoted it. Good job. Uh, but I'm gonna try this again, and hopefully I can also get through the next level. Uh, it's only a couple thousand power a little bit above, though. Okay, by the way, Game Wisdom Gaming says, so I was looking at the random stories on the Tower of Records, and found out that croissant cookie appears on the interdimensional Super Mayhem, the one with Toys the Gummy Cookie Malasauce. She actually has a bold voice acting. She even has, says her iconic, iconic line, time travel, Woot. I've seen the cutscenes for that, and yet, yeah, uh, croissant cookie does indeed exist from the uh, Super Mayhem event, because she was the one that actually uh, 
quote unquote arrested Twizzly Gummy Cookie, or at least took Twizzly Gummy Cookie away. But yeah, wild. Okay, I want to say we're doing a little bit better, but you never know. Like anything could change at any moment. Like seriously. Okay, crack this open. Hit. Knock backwards. Always definitely gotta rely on cotton. Because that speed is immense. There's at least the speed of using the plumbing ability. Do that. Forward. Okay, tool. Tool? I don't know. Freeze. Okay, cool. Now we can go ahead and blast forward. Activate the disabilities. And then do that. And by abilities, I mean disabilities, I mean the negative effects. Okay, shatter. Okay. Don't. Don't. We did it. Okay. Just had to do a tad bit more upgrading there, but we were able to do it in the end. I'm probably happy about that. And we have another comment from uh, Crimson Calamity Cookie that I'm going to read right here, who says, uh, Random question of the day. Would you rather get access to Golden Cheese Cookie or get Season 7 Early in Cookie Run of a Ring? Also, good news, I'm getting a new cat. I already have a ginger and a white cat, uh, but the cat I'm about to get is black and white, and I decided to name it... Uh, on a name called Mochi, and she looks so cute, just want to point that out. That's adorable. And to be honest, I prefer to get Golden Cheese Cookie because, uh, I don't want Season 7 to immediately come because I'm pretty sure people just want Cookie Run Oven Break, at least the majority of the people I've spoken to, people just want Cookie Run Oven Break to die already. I'm not even joking. People just want, like, uh, Cookie Run Oven Break to just kind of, like, fade away, and then they'll focus on, like, a new game, which I'm not opposed to, like, a new Cookie Run platforming game, but I at least just want them to, uh, finish the whole entire Dragon story, but... I don't want them to do it, like, immediately, just, like, because we only just got Lychee Dragon Cookie a couple days ago. Which I'm pretty sure they're going to introduce the new dragon in, uh, the... N okay, I thought that said easy. Uh, the new dragon in, like, later, maybe Season 7. But I don't want that to immediately come. I want to see what they can pull off. Devsters specifically. Why specifically? I mean, it's literally what Devsters do. Are they on sleds? No, they're on horses! No, I, no, 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 they have sh No, those are shopping carts. Excuse me? What are you shopping for? Ingredients? Plumbing, my lord, they, they, are, they are just reckless. My gosh, I just need to, like, get so many XP jellies. Just to upgrade everything that I got, at least. Okay, back up. Get the plumb out of my way. Did, did you just block all the freezing? If you did, that was, that, that was unfair. Alright, shopping. Get the plumb out of here. Freeze! And then through here. This level was definitely a lot easier, but I don't- I should probably hold my tongue before, uh, because I still gotta complete the level first. Oh, these levels are gonna progressively get harder, aren't they? Oh, I'm so scared. Oh, plumbing enemy. Alright, that level is done. At least we got that done in the first try. And let's see what the plebs is up next. And there's actually one more comment on this video for uh, the separating was probably a mistake. And it comes from Lamp Whimsical, who just says, first. Yep, they were. They were the first comment. And that was all the videos on the uh, maybe separating was a mistake video. But now, next, if we read comments, it's going to be coming from the finishing the hero's gate in dark mode video. Which I may or may not have accidentally called that video at first of uh, finishing up Pilgrim's Path. Because I'm an idiot. Oh, there's a wall there. Great. Uh, remove the fallen chandelier. Sure. Here we go. I got some shovels for you. Look at that. That was that's basically a three, a free three million XP just right there. Easy. And now it's just clear ten seven. Sure, we can clear that, but like, do we want to do that now, or do we want to save that in the next video? Maybe we can do one one level, and hopefully not fail it, and then we can just like save whatever's coming up next for uh, next time that we play the main story. But, whew, let's just read one comment from this video, being finishing the Heroes Gate in Dark Mode, which says, Do you have Sorbet? Wow, it's beautiful. Let me read this comment first, please. Uh, it comes from Lu uh, Lu 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 Lubomir Histrov, who says, Do you have Sorbet Shark Cookie? If yes, then upgrade him uh, for the hot... Uh, for the Hollyberry Market? I think from the Hollyberry Market. But, I, unfortunately, I do not have Sorbet Shark Cookie, but hopefully in the future I can get them. I hopefully I can get them. But, anyway, apparently this place is beautiful. I think I've seen this place before. Was it a, uh, was it a lobby in Kikuron Oven Break? I have a feeling it was. Five ancient heroes depicted on the glass itself. And look, 
Pure vanilla cookie. Well, that's you, right? Yeah, from left to right, I think it's uh, white lily, dark cacao, pure vanilla, golden cheese, and hollyberry. When the vanilla kingdom was established, my friends and I swore an oath. Right here in the Solarium of Unity. Solarium of Unity. Our soft and crispy hearts beating as one. In the pursuit of peace and happiness for all cookies. Do you know where the others are? I do not know what has transpired to them after the Dark Flower War. Oh, hopefully they're all just in hiding. This is all due to my failures. I could not protect my kingdom. I could not even protect my dearest friend. Hey, don't beat yourself up over it. I'm just saying, wait, by, wait, dearest friend. Oh, I think you're assuming White Lily Cookie. But hey, don't beat yourself over it. We can try and fix everything. Uh, it's still too early to start worrying. They're great heroes, so what? I'm sure they're around somewhere. Hopefully. Your words bring courage to my heart. I look forward to meeting my friends again. I pray they are all safe. As healthy and bright as their likeness is seen here. That's just so- that's just sweet. Oh my- Alright, just start off with a speed boost, because why not? Alright, hit this. Uh, freeze every single one of them, because there's a whole, whole barrage of enemies. And shoot bash them through. Alright, up next. Another large wave of enemies that we're also going to uh, debuff them, and then charge with the sheep. Beautiful. Alright, next wave of enemies. Yep, indeed. No, you don't. Bash forward. You bash us, we bash you. And then we're gonna run on through again. Wave of enemies right here, once again. Oh, that's a large wave. Well, it's a good thing we could just freeze them all. Goodbye. Alright, that's a wave. Eh. No. Get away. We slash you with a sword, and if that doesn't kill you, we're gonna freeze you. Okay, well, good news and bad news. Bad news, you already died. Good news, we didn't have to kill you by freezing you. Alright, so that's gonna be it for this video. If you did enjoy this video, then please be sure to leave a like on it, and also share with your friends more cooker run content. And if you enjoy my content in general, why not subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't yet, or you want to, hit the bell icon next to the subscribe button to receive all my notifications on this YouTube channel in the near future. And last but certainly not least, I have merchandise available if you want to check it out. I'm not forced to buy a thing, I'm just saying there might be something interesting in the shop that you might be interested in. But above all else, I will see you entities and guardians in the next video. Hail the Hypnese!